Dear colleagues, my name is Vincent de Martino. I'm very pleased to discuss on a paper entitled Efficacy of Ursodes Oxycholic Acid in Treating Intrahepatic Cholestasis of Pregnancy and Meta Analysis. You know that in intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy is a common condition, very uncomfortable for the mother because it reduces priorities, but also associated with a poor outcome for the baby. It was reported to be uh, associated with intrauterine fetal death, fetal distress, spontaneous prematurity. Sometimes the obstetrical team are tempted to shorten the pregnancy, but by doing that they can induce prematurity and some morbidity in the fetus. So there's a large room for medical treatment able to make the mother condition more comfortable, but also to allow the pregnancy to be achieved until its term and thus to protect the baby also. During the last decade, ursodesoxycalic acid, UDCA, was tested in that disease with, uh, uh, in some trials, not so numerous, only nine uh, randomized control trials were reported on this topic, and the level of evidence was considered to be uh, low, especially because the trials included a small number of, of patients and because the majority of the trials compared UDCA versus other medical treatments. But we know that it is very difficult to carry a large randomized controlled study uh, comparing UDCA versus placebo in that disease because many teams are reluctant to let the mother with prioritus without any efficient therapy, for instance. So we thought the meta-analysis could be big, a good way to increase the level of evidence uh, for UDCA in that disease. We thus conducted this meta-analysis in a very conventional way, but we had to ask the investigators to provide us uh, original data from their trials because we noticed that the outcome measures between trials were not reproducible. So it was very difficult to perform pool, pooled analysis on the published material. Out of the nine selected randomized control trials, only eight major investigators answered to us and provided us original data. They thus assigned the paper. We performed for each outcome measure two analyses, one of on UDCA versus other medical treatments, and the other restricted, restricted on UDCA versus placebo, and we considered um, outcome measures for the mother, and more importantly, outcome measures regarding the fetal outcome. We considered the, dis the resolution of the decrease of the mother's prioritus, of serum ALT levels, the decrease in total serum bile acid, and for the fetus, the total and the spontaneous prematurity, the venal distress, the respiratory distress syndrome, the APGAR score at 5 minutes below 7, and the stay in neonatal intensive care unit. The overall results strongly support the efficacy of UDCA, especially regarding the mother's condition. For instance, the priorities can be resolved in more than 50, in more than 40, sorry, 40% 40 of cases under UDCA versus less than 20% in placebo or other medical treatments. Serum artillery also significantly decreases and total bile acid also significantly decreases under UDCA. However, when looking on the analysis uh, restricted uh, to the comparison of UDCA versus placebo, the difference was no longer, was no longer significant, probably because of a type 2 error Indeed, only 70 women in the, all the, the published material received placebo. For the baby, we observe also benefit of UDCA, 
uh, it was associated with a decrease of total prematurity, a decrease of respiratory distress syndrome, of fetal distress, a decrease in the number of babies with a low APGAR score at five minutes, and uh, more importantly, a decrease uh, of the stay uh, in neonatal intensive care unit. In that case, also, again, we saw that analysis comparing UDC versus placebo were, did not provide significant results, and we are convinced that it was because of a type 2 error. So, to conclude, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, we think OPP may be useful to trust on your DCA in treating uh, intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy. Um, the evidence is not total, of course, because we failed to uh, assess a significant impact versus placebo, but as I stated before, it may be difficult to have this evidence. Thank you very much for your attention.